Hello friends, it's me. Today we are checking out some of the messiest rooms on TikTok. The four satisfying cleaning. This dude made a video, cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. It can't be that bad, right? It is. Four seconds into the video, I'm gonna have to stop you there. All this man needs is a trash can. That's like a month's worth of DoorDash orders on the floor. First, I get started with the bed stand. This is where I have all my waters for my daily hydration. Wow! You mean gamers stay hydrated with something besides Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper? Oh wait, no. I spoke too soon. There's a Dr. Pepper can right there. That's at least two water bottles. The most hydrated gamer out there. As you can see, it's cleaned up. I'm getting the floor clean now. What do you mean you're getting the floor clean? I can barely see the floor. I think it would be wise to invest in a trash can. Like when you don't have a trash can, you just throw everything on the floor. Still got a long way to go. Does mother allow? this? They don't even go in there anymore. That seat cushion ran through. I then grabbed the vacuum after picking up most everything. Oh wow. Still got some Coming stuff on the side to tidy now. up. Oh look a better angle of the beat up gamer chair. How does it get that bad? Bro's swamp booty has disintegrated the leather. And now my Roblox streams are ready to resume. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. I love Roblox. You know, this is as clean as it's gonna get. Congratulations! We can see the carpet now. You know, not sure I want to with all those mystery stains. The Chick fil A bags I've been marinating in the floor for the past several months have left a grease stain in the carpet. I don't even want to imagine what this smells like. I feel like this is the kind of dude to just walk in, spray half a can of Febreze up in here so it'll smell like lavender scented garbage and call it a day. Like, oh, it smells fine. But I don't even see a can of Febreze. Okay, perfect. Now we can resume our daily activities. Okay, but wait. We learned our lesson from cleaning it the first time. We're never gonna let it get this bad again. And then there's a part two. Bro was cleaning his room again. Cleaning my room as a Roblox streamer. Again. Okay, First, it doesn't look that bad this time I went time over around. what we have. We have a roach <gasps> infestation. I don't think it's caused by me. I think it's just a really invasive. I mean, what did you expect? Your room was like a whole buffet for them. They thought they were at the Golden Corral. <laughs> Except they walked through the front door and get stuck. <laughs> I thought those were ant notes, the roaches. Their little paws are stuck. Is that their poo-poo? This would suck. Like, imagine your hands or feet are just stuck. Duck. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to run except chill with your other sticky homies. We've got some bowls We have to clean up. I don't think he's living with his parents. Yo, know, that money plates gone missing in my household My mom would have I'm gonna need those plates back Um found this hot dog <laughs> July 4th July 4th this was posted in September Y'all let this hot dog marinate for months took a bite of the hot dog mm, hot dog so good and then somehow forgot about it for months. Just throw it into the abyss of dirty laundry and McDonald's takeout bags. We've got some bowls we have to clean up. Um, found this hot dog. <laughs> July 4th. How does it get this bad? Why is it all over the chair? Bro, where are you sitting? I wonder if he just like scoots it over and just sits on it. Nothing makes me feel like king of the castle, like sitting on a throne of empty water bottles. All right, we clean up this chair. Get some of these <gasps> bowls down. That's a little crust on. I don't know. That bowl has been there since pre-COVID. Then SpaghettiOs was hit by a Moab. We have some Frappuccinos. Looks like something tried growing in here. Not on my watch. Oh, that's Not mold in there. Stubborn. Refuses to clean my room until it is uninhabitable and growing a whole ecosystem in my coffee. Now we got some snack trays. Got to clean these up. Don't want my dog to eat them. I think he already did. Some of it's missing. That's all Found a little mold. baby roach trying to get away. Bro, this is a health hazard. Sorry, honey. Didn't mean to leave that down there. Nice try, buddy. I can't tell if that's your sister or your mom. Oh, they're kissing on the lips. If they live in Alabama, that's definitely his cousin. All right, well, that's about it. The room's pretty clean now. We've made a lot of good progress, so we're just going to finish up another day. I'm pretty exhausted, so stay tuned. Wow, quite the cleanup. If a Roblox streamer can do it, so can you guys. No excuses. Comment below the state of your room. Not the worst cleaner on TikTok does these insane cleanings. She does free house cleanings for people who are struggling. It is insane how bad these houses get. Like, you thought his was bad? Look at this. Take absolutely nothing for these cleanings for a variety of reasons. So come do one with me while I explain why. You know, our trash bag just wasn't big enough. Let's combine the bedroom and the trash into one room. Nothing cozier than sleeping with your filth. Where are the insects? Oh, there's ants! Look 
closely there are ants. I mean, surprise, surprise. I leave a cookie on my counter, I get ants. No, my tree, when I shake it a little and it loses leaves, I get ants from leaves. Yet these people have Thousand, depending on how severe the case the is, and, and a lot of the ones on I've the done floor. could be considered condemnable. At the end of the day, the majority of people cannot afford this. Okay, you're probably wondering, how does it get this bad? You never know what people are going through. Sometimes things get so bad, whether you're suffering from depression, you just, you can't bring yourself to clean or even like pick up cups and it just gets worse and worse and worse over time. I know what it's like to be depressed. You just feel like you can't do anything. You don't even have the energy to like pick up after yourself. This is why it's really important to have somebody like checking up on you, have a friend come over. Everybody has somebody that cares about them. I was doing a little bit of research about how hoarders get this bad. Some feel like they have to keep things, like they can't get rid of anything, like they can't throw it away, like this. Those are pads, they are used pads. I don't even know how you can walk through a field of used pads. You know, as gross as some people might think this is, there is usually a reason behind it. And it is important not to just like look and be like, ew, that's disgusting. I don't know how anybody can live in there. You don't know what people are going through. There are these wonderful cleaners on TikTok that do these insane cleanings for free. Cleanings like this can cost thousands of dollars because they're toxic. It's biohazardous materials. So not any regular cleaner can do it. And a lot of cleaners will refuse to do this kind of cleanup, which sucks because it's like most of these people are either afraid to ask for help or they can't afford spending thousands of dollars on a cleanup. So it's really amazing that these people do what they do. Like, look at that. From a pad party to pristine. Wow. You know, it's always nice when you can see the floor. Here is the long awaited floor reveal from the last free house cleaning I did. And I'm also gonna answer some commonly asked questions about this house cleaning. First up is why I didn't throw out this mom's fridge. I thought it was an obvious one, but after hundreds of the same question, I felt the need to address it. I wonder, like, are people living here? It literally looks like a tornado hit it. All of their things are just on the ground. I can't tell, did the ground open up? Is it dirt? Where's the I offer these at? free house cleanings for people in unlivable situations in attempt to make them livable and comfortable as I possibly can for them. Whoa, you see that glow up? Now, I feel like a lot of these is just a matter of taking a shovel and throwing everything away and cleaning the floor under it. If somebody want to dig through this and be like, no, I want this, 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 and this, and this, and this, no, I can't throw that away, then it's never going to get done. When you're a hoarder, you have to decide what you want to keep and what you want to throw out. But that's the hardest part. I've known people like this where they literally cannot throw anything away. When like, I say you free, get I mean free. Things. I take my weekends away from my kids and my family to be able to do this for others. I use my own supplies and countless hours of my own time. And unfortunately, Ooh. I'm not able to afford anything more than that. Forbidden rolled ice cream. Kind of look like chocolate chip cookie crust. I do what I can for them with what I have. Second question is, does she still have custody or is she seeking help? This is like the most asked question. This mom deserves her privacy. What's happening within her home right now is not my business to share. The steps that were taken before and after this video, again, not my business to share. I was permitted to share the cleaning aspect in order to help raise awareness and help people feel less alone so that people in similar situations know that there is a way out and it is okay to reach out for help. Last question is how this house got so bad. And this is a tough one because each case is a different scenario with a different background, whether it be physical or mental health causing it. We all go through tough seasons of life, some people more tough than others, and cleaning is typically the first thing that gets put on the backboard. It's the easiest thing to add up to a quickly overwhelming state. So if you find yourself being judgmental, maybe try and take a step back and just be extremely thankful that you've never had to battle such an extreme fight with mental health. She's 100% right. I've struggled with mental health. The last year and a half of my life has been absolute hell. I don't talk about a lot of personal things in my life. Like I want my channel to be a positive place, but there have been a lot of days where I feel like I just have to put on a smile for the camera, pretend everything is fine, when really it's not. It's okay to not be okay. Things always get better. It's nice when people post things like this because somebody else will see it and not feel alone. Somebody probably thinks they have the most disgusting, messy house in the world. And then they watch something like this on TikTok and it just makes them feel like they're not alone. It is possible to shift wow. your mindset and move on to a better season of life. I cannot believe this. Like the before, yeah, it's so colorful. I think it gives the kitchen some character. And then the after, she'd be doing some amazing work. And suddenly the house is livable. Just having a clean place to be in must feel so nice, like a fresh clean start. Cleaning up my disgusting depression room. Okay, I, I can see bits and pieces of the carpet. You know, do y'all's parents not care that you got half the dishes in your room? Because every week we would get yelled at for that. Personally, I didn't eat in my room, but my brothers, they would hoard all the cereal bowls under their bed. Why don't you finish your buttered toast? That thing look crispy. Okay, the makeup counter is the worst. I don't know how it gets so bad. Like mine too. Whenever I'm at a hotel, Airbnb, whatever, like I take out my makeup, put it on the counter, and then two days later, put it in my bag. It looked like a greasy hamster took its skin off. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. 
It's so clean now. Wow, like brand new. And then when you see your room like this, I'm never gonna get it dirty again. No, I feel like most people are just fine with this. And then they wake up one day, suddenly I have energy. I think I'm gonna clean my room. Energy well spent. And make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.